All right guys, today on Pro Cycle Repair with Ian, we are going to work on a CT90-1970, I think they're K1. Um, we're gonna be doing the clutch today, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. All right, so first thing you wanna do is lay the bike on the side. Um, we're gonna be taking off the Kickstarter. We're gonna be taking off this skid plate. We're gonna be taking off uh, these things. And then we're gonna use, looks like a large Phillips to take off the case cover. Let's get started. All right, so next once you get the cover off, you're gonna pull this shifter shaft off like this. Let me get a clean paper towel that I can sell this stuff down on. All right, <clears throat> pull that off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this piece right here off. We're gonna unscrew these two bolts right here. We also kinda wanna look at all the gearing. Everything looks super clean. Also that little black thing right there, you pull that out, that's the oil screen. We can clean that over here. Um, Looks like that's a little too big, so I'm gonna go grab a, see if we can do it with this one. I'm gonna need two hands again. I need the impact. Okay, I'll pull those two screws out. Next, you want to get this little cover plate off. Try at it to get it up.
go. Got that pita piece off. Next, what we want to do is we got that uh, lock ring and washer and nut in there. Um, we're going to take one of these pieces out, bend that out, and then we're going to use one of my crowbars to get that piece out. So what I'm doing right here is I'm hammering at the corner edges of that nut and slowly un uh, loosening it. Um, take your time, be careful with it, and then also when you put it back on, just flip it over and hammer the other way. Alright, so first what you're going to do is you're going to start taking your screwdriver and slowly take this piece off. It's like kind of snap ring deal. this plate off and we always want to remember what goes down first so that way we can put it exactly the same way so I'll just flip these upside down All right, so now that we got these out, um, here's our new ones. Put the first one in. Then what we're gonna do We're going to take this right here, clean it up a little bit, and what we're going to do is we're going to take some scotch brite to it and rough up the uh, surface of this so that way it grabs more. Um, you know, someone could have put car oil in this where it doesn't have the zinc properties it's supposed to or whatever, um, and we just want to make sure that this could, the problem with this clutch was it was slipping too much when I was kickstarting it, so it wasn't grabbing as much as it needs to. So we're going to go rough this up. I'm going to clean it with spray clean first, and then we're going to rough it up. You can even drag this across your driveway, clean it up again, and that's what you want. You want this one to bite. So I'm going to go do that really quick. So once you get all the friction discs out and the plates out, you're going to want to loosen these screws up here on top. Take them out. Then what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up.
take these springs out. And here's our springs that we need to replace, the clutch springs. Got four new ones right there. Anytime you get parts for uh, CT90, CT70, CT50, or uh, 50s, whatever, uh, check out DrATV.com. He always has everything I need. All right, so once you get all those off and the new ones out, we want to put these around where the screws were. And what we'll do is we'll put the screws in and we'll slowly start tightening it all down. So you'll apply with some pressure and then just slowly turn some by hand. Oh, come on. There's one. There's two. Okay. Now we'll put it in our impact. Okay, make sure they're all tight and snug. Okay, next we need to take these little springs 
and there's grooves right in there that we need to compress them into. I'll see if we can do them by hand first. Maybe not. Just like that. Put it into that groove. All right, then we'll put our friction disc in. Alrighty, one. So you want to make sure that snap ring goes in all those grooves around there. I know you guys probably won't be able to see it that well, but there's little grooves that those all go around. You want to make sure that those get in every single thing. But we wrapped up every uh, friction disc. We got the new. Uh, or no, we got the new friction distance and we roughed up the plates. Um, now it's ready to go back in. All right, so next, do you wanna grab that snap ring again? Put that in there. want to grab your nut if you've already beaten up one side because you don't have the right socket like me use the beaten up side again um, because there's still pieces that haven't been beat up on there so when I go the opposite way with it I won't touch any ones I've touched and that way, if this ever needs to get repaired again, the person can just flip it over and it has healthy teeth again. So now I'm gonna take my crowbar and I'm gonna hammer it tight again. Pretty snug, it doesn't have to be super insanely tight because you gotta get it off again if you need to. Um, and then next, I'll put that cap back on, screw those two screws in. Then I'll put that piece on with that arm, that shifter shaft arm. And then I'm gonna clean up the edge of this and the edge of that. And I'm gonna clean that filter out really quick, get that gunk out of there. Then I'll put the cover back on, tighten everything down, try to do it like a wheel or you know, start here, go opposite, then opposite, then opposite, then opposite, tighten it like that. <clears throat> then I'm gonna drain the oil and put fresh Honda oil in it. Um, 1030, 1040, whatever. Um, some of them say, you know, if you have below 15 degrees Celsius, put uh, 1020 in. If you got above 15 degrees Celsius, put 1030 in. It doesn't really matter. But, yep, that's how you do a clutch and a CT90. All right, so we got the brand new suspension on. Looking pretty. 
the rear. And we got the clutch back on. So now it starts with ease. One kick wonder. Thanks for watching again, guys. Pro Cycle Repair with Ian. I uh, appreciate all you guys' subscribers and watch my videos. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.